Folks, today I'm gonna to talk about something I rarely talk about, cryptocurrencies and Goldman Sachs, and it's a story you need to hear about. Folks, banking powerhouse Goldman Sachs is setting up a cryptocurrency trading desk after backing away from previous efforts to enter the market after Bitcoin crashed in 2018, making it the largest and the latest institutional player to jump into cryptocurrencies due to the strong momentum we've seen causing the crypto to rise sharply over the past several months. The desk will be part of Goldman's global market segment within the digital asset sector, which also includes projects involving blockchain technology and central bank digital currencies. Now, the bank's largest division by asset and revenue at the end of last year, and it'll serve as a market maker, buying and selling securities on behalf of clients, but not actively managing cryptocurrencies itself. Goldman previously started a cryptocurrency desk at the beginning of a nearly two-year trout in Bitcoin prices right after the price crashed nearly 70% in early 2018. We all remember that. It wasn't that long ago. The team made few big hires, but fizzled out, abandoning its plans before year's end. It appears the new wave of institutional adoption and inflationary concerns, oh yeah, inflationary concerns, have helped Bitcoin prices. And the cryptocurrency is making new highs, soaring higher and higher throughout the year, but with the usual volatility that comes with Bitcoin. Now, the trading desk reboot comes as institutional interest is growing regarding Bitcoin, which has quadrupled over the past year and continues to grow. Business analytics company MicroStrategy, one of Bitcoin's biggest corporate holders, announced another billion dollar investment in Bitcoin earlier this month. Bloomberg reported that Morgan Stanley, which is right behind Goldman in terms of size, has made a $150 billion investment arm is eyeing adding Bitcoin to its portfolio, taking it one step further than Goldman. Citibank analysts, and Citibank analysts are top notch, said that Bitcoin is at a tipping point between widespread adoption or a speculative implosion. I love that quote. Going as far as to say that it can become the currency of choice for international trade. Can you imagine that? That's huge. Anatoly Krochilov, the co-founder and CEO of, of Nickel Digital Asset Management said, there's little doubt that Bitcoin is increasingly being accepted as an established asset class. And based on price action over the past several months, it appears that the COVID crisis has intensified this adoption as investors have increasingly looked to hedge their portfolio against the tail risk of rising inflation. Now, before we get too excited, I still believe Bitcoin's future is still uncertain, but developments in the near term are likely to prove decisive as the currency balances at the tipping point of Main Street acceptance. Last month, electric car maker Tesla reported, reportedly filed with the SEC that it had purchased 1.5 billions of Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, lost ground, however, after Elon Musk, Tesla's co-founder, as we call the wet blanket around here, suggested that price of Bitcoin seemed high and market observers raised concern about the market overheating. Now, technically, the price of Bitcoin peaked out just shy of 59K and is now pulling back to the mid-54,000 level. Now, I'm anticipating another test to the upside shortly. Momentum and volatility levels have been stable, and I believe we have more upside to go, especially with the increased uncertainty surrounding large-cap tech stocks in response to higher interest rates. I'm seeing more investors move into the Bitcoin market, especially, especially if the shakeout in the NASDAQ market continues. While I don't think there's any negative correlation between U.S. stocks and cryptocurrencies, at least not long term, I do believe it's a good idea to potentially diversify into Bitcoin or crypto ETFs with a small, small portion of your portfolio to gain some type of diversification away from traditional stocks. And this should also decrease volatility in your overall portfolio and offer you some type of a hedge against stock market volatility as we are seeing it increase right now. And I hope that helps. Folks, imagine. Imagine a trading strategy that's so powerful. When applied accurately, it can give you the chance to trade with near perfect accuracy. Imagine that. Does it sound impossible? Well, it's not. And for a limited time, you can learn the strategy that 10-time trading champion Chuck Hughes used to profit from 97% of the positions that he took over the past two years. 
don't pass up on this opportunity to learn Chuck's trading secrets. Click on the link below for complete details. Do it now. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're watching on YouTube. Stay ahead of the market by being the first to be notified when we post our next video.